everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to cover the solution to this question do some left coding work and uh, at the same time i'm going to follow the general steps we should follow in the coding interview to solve this problem so before you start the real content uh, i would really appreciate that if you can help subscribe this channel so let's take a look at the question so you're given coins of different dominations and the total amount of the money so write a function to compute the number of the combinations that make up that amount. So you may assume that you have the infinite number of each kind of coin. So let's see, for, exam for example, amount as 5, for coin 1, 2, 5, we have 4 different ways. So let's see some constraints. It says that the amount is anywhere between 0 to 5,000, the coin is anywhere between 1 to 5,000, so I think it's talking about uh, the value of each coin. And the number of the coins is less than five, uh, 500. So there are f up to 500 kinds of the coin. And the answer is going to divide into a sign 32 bit integer. So actually there is another very similar question called coin base, uh, sorry, coin change. Uh, so that one is asking us to try to find the minimum amount of the coin needed to get a certain amount. But here it's just uh, ask us to uh, find other ways to other combinations to uh, get the amount, uh, get the final amount. So it's very uh, so it's very similar question. Both are dynamic programming question. So we are going to use DP to solve this problem. So first of all, I would de define a one-dimensional array, which is which we call it DP. So DPI actually it means the the number of the ways to get amount i. And uh, what we could do is uh, to compute DPI, we could leverage the subproblems, the result for the subproblems. So it's actually something like uh, DP i minus uh, coins k. So k is, uh, so we just try each kinds of coin. And uh, we, so for example, we already have like the sub -pro the result for the sub problem, uh, which is uh, the sub problem is, every sub problem is just one step away from the original problem. When I say one step away, it's just uh, like, uh, we just need one additional coin to get uh, to, to add on top of the subproblem to f so that we can get the original problem. So we just uh, sum up all of the uh, the result for all the sub subproblem together and then we can get uh, the final result. So that's the DP formula, uh, pretty much it. Runtime is going to be O uh, amount times N. So N is the length of the coins array. And uh, for the space wise, it's going to be uh, all of amount. So having said that, uh, let's do some coding work. So first of all, we will have the DP defined as amount plus one, and we define the DP zero as equal to one. So because, so for amount as zero, there's one way, which is like, we don't need any coin. So that's why we have dp0 as 1, and then the next one is pretty much about the dp formula. So I think one thing it is worth to mention that whether we put, so it, it, actually there there is like a two layer of the for loop. Whether we put the out layer as for the coin or we have the out layer as the mount. So that's a question. So suppose we have something like uh, this. Um, i is equal to 1, i is smaller than equal to amount plus plus i. And then we have, for example, we go through each of the coin. This could be problematic. Um, so why it is problematic? That is because uh, uh, I haven't s actually done everything. Uh, dpi plus equal to dpi minus um, coin. So I haven't done, um, so this could be problematic. That is because if we put the out layer as the amount, we can pr potentially suffer from the duplication. So for example, let's say we have one and the two, and then we need the amount as, uh, let's say we need the amount as three. So for example, we compute dp1 
it is getting us as one. For DP two, it is getting us a one. And for DP three, it, it, it is getting us two. So until now, I think we are good. Uh, for DP four, um, let's say, it is getting us one, two, so it is getting us three actually. Well, uh, what I was thinking is, for example, if you have one and one and one, one and two, we may have like suffer from like two, one, something like that. But uh, yes, um, Okay, so let me let me go over this again. So if we have like DP zero as one, and DP one is actually one, DP two is actually okay. DP two is actually uh, it's not one here. DP two is actually one plus one, which is two, and uh, when we compute DP three, we are getting three here. Uh, but actually there are, there's just two ways uh, there's just two ways like three ones or a one and a two so the the way the reason we introduce the duplication is because first of all we get one two and then we get two one so we treat them as different ways but actually they are the same way so instead what we could do is we just could we could put the coin in the out layer so the out, when we when we put the coin in the out layer, it means that um, every time we are just uh, trying to, uh, like in the outer loop, every tr every time we are trying to introduce a new type of the coin on adding on top of the, uh, adding on top of the original coin, original types of the coins we have, so that we uh, introduce like really a new way to to get uh, to get the the amount. So. Having said that, uh, we will just uh, put the coin in the outer loop. So i is equal to uh, one, i is smaller or equal to amount, the plus plus i. So if, oops, if the i is actually smaller than, than the coin, then we're just going to continue. Because if the coin value is larger than the amount, no way for us to make use of the coin to get the amount. Otherwise, we have uh, dpi plus equal to dpi minus coin. And finally, we are just going to return dp amount. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's run through this code. Okay, so it seems to be good. Uh, let's do a submission. Okay, so it seems like everything worked well. Uh, that's it for this coding question. So if you have any question regarding the solution or regarding whatever, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.